Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. My name is Abba. Guys, our YouTube family is a 3K strong and so I'm super excited to be coming your way today. Let's celebrate this milestone with some delicious grilled sea bream. So I have here my two beautiful big sea breams which I got from the fish market. I don't like stress so I asked them to clean it for me. It is gutted, descaled, all the fins are off and they chopped off the tail. Normally I would take off the mouth of the fish and the neck but for this recipe I would like to leave it like this intentionally. I just go ahead and make some incisions in my fish to allow a deep penetration of the marinade. You can make the incisions any way you prefer, but today I'm feeling for this cross-like shape. So once we are done prepping our fish, we are going to move on to our marinade. For the marinade, we will need some onion powder, garlic powder, some chili flakes, that's some cayenne pepper for extra heat, and some white pepper powder. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of my homemade spice blend from my previous video. I will link it somewhere for you to check it out. And finally add my salt. We are going to mix everything together and then add about two to three tablespoons of some vegetable oil to loosen it up and bring it all together. So this is the consistency you want to be looking out for. It should be able to coat your fish beautifully. Now make sure your fish is patted dry and brush on your marinade into every corner of the fish because we want this to be super delicious. So brush on the marinade generously on both sides of the fish. Not forgetting the belly, you want to brush it in there as well so that your fish will be flavorful all over. Do the same thing for both of the fishes and then we will move on to the next step. So after we are done brushing on the marinade to our fish, we are going to stuff the belly of the fish. And I'm going to do this with some spring onion or scallions some slices of lemon you can use oranges if you don't have lemon and i'm also going to add some fresh thyme mostly i add some rosemary if i do have it i didn't have it this time around so thyme will do now with my butcher string i'm going to tie down my fish just to keep the stuffing in the belly it doesn't have to be anything fancy, you just want to tie it any way you like, just make sure not to do it too tightly. Also make sure that you use a string that is food safe. This is a butcher string so I know that it's good to be on my food. If you have the time, you can cover this and put it in your fridge and marinate for about 1 or 2 hours before you grill it. I don't have that time so I'm going to transfer it straight away onto my rack and pop it into my oven. Just before I do that, I'm going to brush it one more time with our marinade for maximum flavor. Now reserve the remaining marinade for later. We will use it to baste our fish halfway through. Now pop your fish into your oven at 180 degrees Celsius and grill your fish. Make sure to use the right oven setting as grilling and baking are not the same. So whilst our fish is in there, I have here some bell peppers and some onion which I'm going to stir fry to complement the fish. So in a frying pan or a wok, you want to heat about a tablespoon or two of some oil of choice. And once this is hot, you want to go in with your onion first and stir fry this for about a minute or two. Now go ahead and add your bell peppers as well and stir fry this for about a minute. You can use any vegetables of your choice. You don't have to use bell peppers. I just happen to have this. 
In the meantime, let's go check on our fish and then flip to grill the other side. This is very important when you are grilling. I have two big fishes here, so I grilled each side for about 20 to 25 minutes. You may want to adjust your cooking time based on the size of your fish. Brush your fish with more of the marinade and then flip to the other side. Now I'm doing this with my bare hands because my hands can take the heat and also because I'm used to doing this. Please use a thong or a spatula if you are doing this at home and don't feel comfortable doing it this way. Now do this for both of the fishes and brush on the marinade on the other side as well. Pop it back into the oven for another 20 to 25 minutes or until done according to your preferred doneness. So now let's go back to our vegetables and finish it off. I'm going to season my vegetables with just about half a teaspoon of my homemade spice blend and then add some cayenne pepper, some onion powder and some garlic powder. You can use any seasoning of your choice. Add salt to taste and some chili flakes. Stir fry on high heat for about 2 minutes and your vegetables are done. You don't want to overcook them. So now that our vegetables are done, all we need to do is to wait for our fish to be done and complete our dish. And voila, our fish is beautifully grilled. Just allow this to sit for about 5 minutes for the juices to settle and then go ahead and plate it and enjoy it any way that you would want to. If you made it this far into the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share the video and let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this recipe. So after your fish has had time to relax, the next thing you want to do is to cut off the butcher string and then go ahead and serve this as you would. This fish is perfect on its own with the vegetables, with your fried yam, with your banku or with your kinke. It tastes really amazing. I really hope you are able to try this simple and easy recipe at home because I know you are truly going to enjoy it. This fish is really that good. So, until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So, cook this recipe with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!